Right, so today Danielle and Muhammad reunite for the first time since the court decided that Muhammad wouldn't be deported following their separation and emotions are as high as ever. So ever since they split up, Danielle has been threatening Muhammad with an annulment. If granted, an annulment would mean that their marriage would be considered legally invalid from the start. And without the legal history of having been validly married to a US citizen, Muhammad would be deported back to his home country of Tunisia. However, after months of anguish, the court finally made their decision, declaring the marriage valid and granting the pair a divorce, meaning that Muhammad can now live and work in the US as a legal citizen. Outside the courthouse, moments after the decision was made, Danielle confronted Muhammad, and so he agreed to meet her one last time later on that day to talk things through. However, shortly after Danielle arrived, her confrontational attitude led her to breaking the clear boundaries Muhammad set, so he asked her to leave. After stubbornly refusing to do so for several uncomfortable minutes, Danielle finally left Muhammad, vowing to continue to do whatever it takes to get him deported. Well now, the pair are set to have one final standoff. A few months have passed since the court date, but now it's time for the season finale tell-all. In last season's tell-all, Muhammad received a lot of abuse from his fellow cast members for refusing to sleep with Danielle due to her poor personal hygiene. So ironically, despite refusing to go down on her, he was left with a very sour taste in his mouth. And unfortunately, he wasn't the only one. Although the cast members ganged up on Muhammad, Danielle was left mortified at the public revelation that she smelt down there. It was a hard one because of the, some of the stuff that he said. It was very hurtful and embarrassing. Oh, she sad. has a problem that she needs to see a doctor before she has sex with someone. It was pretty brutal, but to be fair, Muhammad just said that he wasn't intimate with Danielle. She was the one that actually brought up the reason why. Regardless, it was absolutely perplexing that everyone thought that he should have given in to her demands, especially given they often came with the threat of deportation if he wouldn't satisfy them. Understandably, as a result, Muhammad stormed out of the last tell-all, and so now he's anxious about being on the receiving end of similarly vile treatment. I don't want to be here right now. Because of the experience last year? Of sort yeah, of, like... of course. After the divorce went through, he obviously would have been hoping that he would never have to see Danielle again, even though he knew that the teller was probably coming. No small part of that would have been because Danielle is always up to something, and this time is no different. I have something that I'm going to tell Mohammed, and I don't think he's going to be too happy about it. Let me guess, she's gonna try and get him deported for the 85th time, just like she threatened to do when she last saw him. What a shock that will be, Muhammad will never see it coming. Well, before the tell all gets started, a quick message from today's sponsor, Displate. Displate is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. With over one million designs, they have something for everyone, including official designs from brands like Star Wars, Marvel, and The Wizarding World, as as well as a huge variety of other artworks. As a big fan of nature and wildlife, I went for this lovely French poster featuring artworks of mammals from across the globe. And for the same reason, I was delighted to hear that Displate are eco-friendly, as they plant a tree for every design sold. Each product is a high-quality design printed on metal and hand-signed by their master of production. And because Displate have created a unique, easy and safe mounting system that only takes 20 seconds, not only does it not require drilling, it doesn't even leave marks on the wall. All you need to do is wipe your wall with a cleaning wipe, stick on a protective leaf, place a magnet, and put the display on your wall. It's that easy. Displate delivers its products worldwide in only four to five business days, and right now they're celebrating Black Friday. So click on the link in the description or use the code ARTHURTV at checkout for 35% off one to two displates, 39% off three to four displates, or 44% off five or more displates. Thank you, Displate, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on with the tell all. So everyone sits down and the couple will start off by giving a brief overview of how their relationships have gone over the course of the season. Then the host, Sean Robinson, takes it in turns to ask each of the couples a few questions. When she gets to Danielle and Muhammad, she asks Danielle why she wanted to get the annulment so badly. In response, Danielle says that it's because she became convinced that Muhammad used her for a green card and hints that she felt entitled to more from Muhammad given what she did for him. 
they don't realize how much energy, time, and money we've put in to bring them here. And then for them to treat us as bad as they have. Danielle makes this point all the time and I really don't like it. It's just an absolutely insane implication to make that investing time or money into bringing someone over means that they should have to stay in a toxic or abusive relationship. He didn't just come over and leave her for no reason as soon as he got the green card. She was consistently the wife from hell. I mean, in pretty much every single one of the 20 plus videos I've done on this couple, Danielle has done something which by itself is grounds enough for divorce. There are just so many problems with Danielle's line of thinking that I could genuinely rant about it for hours. And I'm not the only one. First of all, I hate when people, they talk about other people like objects. We bring them here. We do for them. It's a blessing for them. Right. We are human beings. Very well said. Muhammad then goes on an equally valid rant about how biased everyone on this show is towards the American partner, saying that they speak as if they're the only ones with lives and goals and aspirations and feelings and dignity. Frustratingly though, it seems like no one is really listening, and so Lauren, a girl from one of the other couples, then goes off on how the unsuccessful couples add to the stigma around the K-1 visa process. Yes. You guys make the K-1 visa process look like a joke and a green card process have such a stigma. We fought. We yeah, were denied two times. For I'm not talking to, talk to you. Like so for some context, Lauren is kind of bitter because her and her partner Alexi were rejected twice for the green card before finally being accepted. She is kind of right about the fact that a lot of the couples on this show bring a bad name to the process but her energy is misdirected. She clarifies that she was talking to everyone here, meaning Danielle included, but it feels like her rant was directed more at the foreign partners. Understandably, Muhammad takes issue with her including him in the blame for making the process seem like a red flag in a relationship. Now there are you more red flags with other- I do know what I'm talking about, I went through it. I was doing it for so the right my, reason. So our experience has to be exactly the it same as yours you because here, you went through it? But you what are you talking here? about? Where there's a blatant scam involved and the relationship is clearly transactional, I do agree with her. But just because Muhammad left his relationship doesn't automatically make him a scammer. Like if Alexi started treating her really badly, I bet she'd leave too. But that wouldn't make it her fault either. I've said before that Muhammad's initial intentions were suspicious given the age gap and the objective difference in attractiveness. But he did pretty much everything he should have done from the moment he landed on US soil. Unless you can say for sure that Muhammad would have left Danielle regardless of how she behaved, you can't say for sure that he was scamming her. And there's not enough evidence anywhere else to help make that claim, which is a large part of the fact that even the courts weren't compelled. In fact, if anything, Danielle is the one adding stigma to the whole process. She's the one making it clearly transactional by saying that she's entitled to his love and body just because she paid for him to come over. And again, she goes on to make the exact same nauseating point that Muhammad should have tolerated everything she put him through, just because she believes that she fulfilled her side of the transaction. It's kind of sad because I see how all these couples, they're willing to stick together through the hard times and the bad times. And Muhammad wasn't. This is the thing that annoys me about these tell-alls. Everyone ganging up on Muhammad makes Danielle feel like she's in the right, and no one holds her accountable for any of her behaviour. Like, why is no one calling her out for basically trying to force Muhammad to sleep with her? Or for stalking him across the country? Or for showing up to his house in the middle of the night without telling him and throwing objects at him in the street? One of the only things she's actually called out for in this tell-all is for still following Muhammad on social media. Do you know what? I, I always try to defend you and everything, but like all what I see on social media, you still stuck. Like you definitely need to move on completely. I, well, yeah. I, I have been. She can deny it all she wants, but we saw her lose her mind at Muhammad for uploading a photo of himself with another girl after they had separated and when she had a boyfriend of her own. We heard from Diamond, the woman in that photo, that Danielle bombarded her with texts, emails, and calls. And we saw her having a massive go at Muhammad for posting about them getting divorced. She can't do all of that and then still claim that she's moved on. You're still looking at his post. You should be like actually moved away from But now he's, he's, done, he's took everything off social media and my life has been so much calmer since he's has stopped <laughs> posting. To be fair, with all of the 90 Day Fiancé fans on the internet, keeping their private lives private can only be a good thing for both of them. Well next, Sean asks Muhammad to take us back to the beginning of the relationship, and he says that when he and Danielle started speaking, 
he wasn't in a good place. When I started talking to her, I was living in a different country, not in my country, working there by myself. Just work, go back home, work, go back home. Kind of getting depressed. By the way, this was him working in Qatar and going back home to Tunisia. He spent about four years in this seemingly endless cycle with not much else to live for. And then he started speaking to Danielle. Although he says he wasn't looking for a relationship at the time and had no intention of being with her romantically, that began to change the more they spoke to each other. All of a sudden, I had someone that I talked to every day. She was asking me about every single thing, like even I ate or not. So I got that feeling that I have someone who cares about me. And it started from there. This is actually kind of sweet. I wish he had said this out loud a long time ago because it definitely gives a huge indication of his initial intentions. He did say right at the start that he knew that people would question why he was with Danielle, but he said that looks didn't matter to him that much and that he placed far more importance on how caring she was at the time. And this seems like evidence of exactly that. Annoyingly, again though, Paula pipes up and takes issue with the fact that he didn't dive in head first. I'm sorry, but you're saying that you started your relationship without feelings? My relationship started with feelings, but not 100% feelings that is like... Not compared to ours, right? Why does she say that as if it matters? If anything, the fact that he didn't just find a random American woman online and instantly start pursuing her, and instead fell for her once he got to know her, is more evidence that his initial intentions were pure. And anyway, why do so many of these people act so conceited around Muhammad? They've all got such a jarring superiority complex. Thankfully, Sean sends all the other couples away so that she can speak to Daniela Muhammad, without any interruptions. Once it's just them, she brings up the fact that Muhammad posted pictures of himself with other women whilst he was separated from, but still married to Danielle. And so Danielle explains why she had such a big problem with it. It's all a matter of respect. So you should you... respect me and not be posting pictures with other so women. So if I did it without posting picture, would you be okay with that? Yes. See, so the problem is not what I did, is what people think. I get that when you break up with someone, you don't want your timeline filled with pictures of them with someone new, but that's what the unfollow button's for. And if that fails, there's always the block button. But she hasn't really got a leg to stand on because she was actively seeking out his posts, like visiting his social media profiles on a private browser to get around the fact that she's blocked. She can sit there and claim that she only cares because of what other people think, but we've seen clear evidence to the contrary, and she brings the pain on herself. Also, people won't think less of her because Muhammad's moved on. They'll think less of her for stalking his social media and behaving the way she did to Diamond. She said that you had been calling her and harassing her. I was trying to warn her about Muhammad that as soon as he gets what he wants out of her, he's going to dump her like he's dumped everyone else. I'm curious what she thinks he might be using Diamond for, especially given she hasn't given any evidence or even hinted at what his motive might be. Even if we assume she's right and Muhammad did use her for the green card, now he's got it and he's got a job and his bills are paid, what would he be using someone for? And regardless, even if he was, that wouldn't justify the level of harassment she inflicted on Diamond, trying to let her know. Anyway, Muhammad says that he never approached any of the women he befriended or dated, they all reached out to him. And so Danielle pulls out the infamous folder, claiming that she has evidence to the contrary. What are you going to do with this information? This is going to immigration. And what do you think immigration is going to do with that? I'm hoping that they'll look at it and okay. deport him. It's fine, good luck. Yeah, as if immigration are going to hear that the court found insufficient evidence in that fat folder of out of context screenshots and decide to read through all of it anyway. She needs to give it a rest. Holding on to this bitterness is going to be aging her terribly. And that is the last thing this 44 year old needs. Can you see that Danielle really loved you and was really hurt no. by what has happened? No, that's a fake love because I know her personality and the way she thinks. He is cold, but he has been manipulated by these crocodile tears too many times to count. I'm not surprised that he's got no sympathy left. That said though, honestly, I do actually think that Danielle is in love with him. She just has an insane way of showing it. And given she is obsessively in love with him now that she can't have him, She's not emotionally mature enough to deal with that. She's crying and that's how she gets people to think that she's in love with me or she's innocent. Okay, this, this, this person, she has a problem. <laughs> you know, if I was one of the other couples watching this, having not seen much of their relationship, I'd probably think Muhammad was being a bit of a dick here. But after everything we've seen over the past 20 plus videos, he's just not wrong, is he? 
You think she's faking now? She's faking. I care too much. <laughs> She cares too much, but wants to ruin his livelihood and get him deported just because he doesn't love her back anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. There are definitely strong hints of crocodile tears, but I genuinely think that Danielle has the emotional intelligence of a wet rock. So I think all of this really is overwhelming her to the point of tears. Well, next up, the castmates return to gang up on Muhammad again, and Danielle threatens an entirely new legal action, not at all related to immigration. So if you want to make sure you don't miss the second half of the tell-all, make sure you're subscribed down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.